Okay, today I'm going to be talking about why water boils in a vacuum chamber. So ever since I started doing this vacuum chamber stuff, I would say the number one question I get is questions about the reason that liquids boil in a vacuum chamber. So I want to address some of the main questions that I've seen about water boiling in a vacuum chamber. Why it boils, what are the bubbles that you see, what are the bubbles made out of, and what's happening there. So the first thing to understand about water boiling, and you might know this if you've ever done any cooking, you know that at different elevations that water boils at different temperatures. So there's no set temperature that water boils at, it depends on what pressure you're at. So for example, at sea level on the coast, water is going to boil at about 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if you're in Denver, Colorado, the water is going to boil at around 95 degrees Celsius or 203 degrees Fahrenheit. And then if you're on top of Mount Everest, water is going to boil at around 71 degrees Celsius or only 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason that's happening is because as you go higher and higher up, the pressure gets less and less and less. So the boiling temperature depends on what pressure you're at. So the first thing to understand is we have to know what boiling even means. Boiling means when the liquid turns into a vapor. So when this water turns into steam, that means it's boiling. So to show you what I mean, I have some water in my vacuum chamber here. I just dropped in some blue food coloring so that you can see the water easier. It's kind of hard to see with a white background. But I have a thermometer in here also. It's at 30 degrees Celsius. So just a little bit warm water around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So at sea level around where I'm at, this water obviously isn't boiling, but let's do the equivalent of lifting it up higher and higher and higher, taking it past Mount Everest and getting it up to where the atmosphere is very thin, then water at 30 degrees Celsius will start to boil. But before we do that, let's talk about one thing you're going to see also is before it starts boiling, you're going to see bubbles start to form. And that's not actually the water turning into vapor, but that is air that's dissolved in the liquid. So air is actually dissolved in liquid water. That's how fish breathe. They breathe the air that's dissolved in the H2O. So it's not water molecules breaking up, but it's just air molecules. So it's nitrogen and oxygen in there. And those bubbles will start to dissolve out of it. So you'll see little bubbles start to form, but that's not when it's boiling. I'll tell you when it starts to boil versus just seeing dissolved air come out of it. Okay, so let's take our water up to a very high elevation until it starts to boil. Okay, water in a vacuum chamber boiling. Three, two, one. atmospheres, not to Mount Everest height yet. Okay, we're at around 0.7, or minus, we're at around 0.3 atmospheres. That's around the height of Mount Everest. So this water on Mount Everest still wouldn't be boiling. Around 29 degrees isn't hot enough to boil on Mount Everest. But if we keep going higher up in elevation, meaning lower and lower pressure, then our water is going to start to boil. So you can see right now that there's bubbles starting to form in the water. This is not the water boiling. This is the air that was dissolved in the liquid. At lower pressure, it dissolves out of the liquid and back into the atmosphere. And so this is not boiling yet. So you can see a lot of bubbles forming. It's not boiling yet, but a lot of bubbles are coming out of the liquid. This shows you how much air was actually dissolved in this water. This is just normal tap water that I got from my tap. So this is the air that fish breathe. Normally we can't see it because it's, we're at a higher pressure and it keeps it in the liquid. So now you can see, as it starts to get more and more rapid, that's probably not the air dissolving, this dissolving out of the liquid, but this is actually the water boiling. 
So we're now at less than 0.1 atmospheres, way beyond the atmosphere at Mount Everest. And you can see it's rapidly boiling now. And the way that you can tell that this is actually liquid water turning into vapor, meaning it's boiling, is that it continually boils. If this were just dissolved air in the liquid, then it would dissolve out all of the air that was in the liquid, and then it would stop. But you can see that this will just continually boil. So another thing to remember is that when the water boils, it's actually losing energy, so it's getting colder. You normally don't notice this, like on your stovetop when you boil water, you're continually adding heat, so you don't notice that as the water boils it's cooling off because you're always adding enough heat so that it never stops boiling due to the temperature dropping. But it, when it's in a vacuum chamber and it starts boiling, you're not continually adding a lot of heat. So some of the chamber walls are just maybe at room temperature, so as the water boils, there's nothing adding a lot of heat to it still, and so the water is actually going to cool down. And that's kind of weird to think about. You think of boiling as hot, but really what you should think about is that boiling is just changing from a liquid to a vapor. Don't worry about it being hot in temperature. And so I'll show you that with a smaller amount of liquid. I'll show you that as it boils, it gets colder. Okay, so I'm going to stick a thermometer in here so you can believe me about the temperature. So right now it says it's at 19 degrees Celsius. Even though it will be boiling, it will keep reducing the temperature. That's because the high energy molecules are leaving the liquid and it leaves just the low energy molecules and that cools the water. So I have this pad under it. That's just to insulate the liquid so that the heat from the chamber doesn't heat up the water. Okay, we've been going about four minutes. We're at 14.3 degrees Celsius now. And you can see that it's starting to boil there. Okay, you can see that it's now boiling at 12.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're at 3.8 degrees Celsius, only four degrees above freezing. Okay, we're at 1.9 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's been like 25 or 30 minutes now. We're at 0 0.7 degrees Celsius. Okay, we've dropped to negative 0.1 degrees Celsius. So this is a little bit lower than the freezing point uh, atmospheric pressure. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about boiling water. And if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to be on the ball and see it right when it comes out. And I'll see you next time.